Welcome in to Duval Daily presented by GenJag.com. I'm Jordan DeLugo. Thanks for tuning in. The Jaguars announced their 2022 team captains on Monday, and we're going to quickly run through this and talk about the captains here. Uh, I'd like to remind you to please subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss a show. You can follow me on Twitter at Jordan DeLugo for all the latest news and updates. That's the quickest place to get it is on Twitter at Jordan DeLugo. You can also follow Generation Jaguar at Generation Jag. As I mentioned, the Jaguars announced their five permanent team captains for 2022 on Monday. I am giving myself a little bit of a pat on the back here. I nailed them in my prediction uh, last week. And uh, I thought it was pretty simple. Apparently, it was pretty simple. I usually don't get all of these things exactly right, but we did get it right here. Uh, These captains were voted on by the players. There will be a sixth captain on a weekly basis that will be chosen by Doug Peterson. Could be a player who's from a certain area of the country where the Jaguars are playing, someone who's exhibiting great leadership or play on the field, different things like that. Doug Peterson will choose that on a weekly basis, that sixth captain. But you've got two on offense, two on defense, one on special teams. On offense, you've got Trevor Lawrence. Big surprise, right? And Brandon Scherf. The right guard the Jaguars acquired this offseason in free agency from the Washington Commanders, who they play later this week. But Trevor Lawrence is in his second year in the NFL, obviously also his second year being named a team captain. I do agree with the idea that the Jaguars players should be voting on the team captains. Uh, I think that is the correct way to do it. You know, they don't get to choose their coaches. uh, They don't get to choose where they play most of the time, a lot of these players. But they do get to choose the leaders among them, the leaders among their peers. And I I do think that's the right way to do things. Second straight year that Trevor Lawrence has been named the Jaguars offensive captain or a Jaguars offensive captain. Uh, I think he has shown great leadership, not only during his rookie year where a lot of the leadership he displayed was really from a PR standpoint, a keeping the team together standpoint, telling the head coach when he's doing something a little bit stupid, like, uh, you know, keeping James Robinson out of a football game, different things like that. He kind of had to grow up before, before our very eyes, and he was already a very mature player. But the circumstances that were placed upon him during his rookie year uh, forced him to become the face of the franchise even quicker than he probably should have had to. And, um, Not only that, but what he's done throughout this offseason, the command he's taken on the offensive side of the ball, uh, communication with his receivers, with his offensive line, his ability to diagnose defenses, to communicate to the rest of the team. Uh, I just think Trevor has taken a big step forward in his leadership. And make no mistake about it, this is the most talented football player on this team. He's not the best player on the team yet, but he is the most talented. He is the face of the franchise, and as long as he's in Jacksonville, he's going to be a team captain. Again, his second year as a team captain in just his second year in the league. Looking at Brandon Sheriff, again, came over from Washington, Jaguars starting right guard. He has made the Pro Bowl in five out of seven seasons. And as soon as you step on the practice field, you can tell why. Brings a lot of energy. He's a really great athlete. He's really strong. He has a great ability to impact multiple defenders uh, on, on single plays. He can get someone at the line of scrimmage, give a little chip, and then move to the second level with ease, uh, with fluidity, and and really just uh, bury linebackers and, and and secondary players. But why is he a captain? It's because he is a leader. Uh, he's the leader of the offensive line without question. And um, Doug Peterson talked about it yesterday. Doug also believes Cam Robinson is one of those leaders on the offensive line, which is something you want to hear, certainly, as the Jaguars are paying him a lot of money. But Brandon Sheriff, he is a guy that comes in he is a weight room weight room warrior so he's a leader in that regard you know making sure players are accountable and leading by example in the weight room he's incredibly smart he's incredibly talented and I think he said it yesterday he said he does not take voting being a uh, voted a team being voted a team captain lightly and that he would do anything for anyone in that building that's not just the coaches or players anyone in that building he is committed 
to making sure the Jaguars are going to be the best they possibly can. It's his fourth year as a captain in the NFL. Um, obviously was one of the leaders on the Washington football team as well. Um, and now, of course, they're the commanders. But when he was there, Washington football team, and we don't need to talk about what their name was before that. But I think this this was obvious. This is a guy who is not only probably your best player on your entire team right now, but someone who does it the right way, leads by example, and leads vocally. Brandon Sheriff was an easy pick, in my opinion, for one of the two offensive team captains. On the defensive side of the ball, I think there were some other candidates. I think there were more candidates that you could look at. And certainly on offense, I think there's plenty of leaders outside of Trevor Lawrence and Brandon Sheriff as well. Uh, you can look at what James Robinson has done. You can look at Marvin Jones' leadership over the last couple years amidst some of the turmoil that they've gone through. Um, Christian Kirk's ability on the football field, I think you could look at him as a leader. There's plenty of players that are leaders, and I think that's a great development. But I thought Trevor Lawrence and Brandon Sheriff were no-brainers. And I think on defense, after parsing through it all, I think these two that were, were picked were no-brainers at all. Josh Allen, who enters his third year as a Jaguars captain, his fourth year in the NFL, a former first-round pick, seventh overall pick by the Jaguars. This guy has been doing it the right way for a long time. He's been growing as a leader uh, over the last several years. I think Calais Campbell and Unique Ngakwe had a huge impact on on him in, in a positive way, and he dealt with some injuries during year two. Then in year three last year, there was a little bit of inconsistent play, but still a step in the right direction. I think this year, uh, his his leadership with Trayvon Walker, the first overall pick, you know, kind of taking him under his wing. They have become basically best friends. They've been attached at the hip throughout training camp. I'm just always working together, always hanging out, and uh, I think. His work ethic, his desire to be the best player in the NFL, um, and and his mentorship of some of these other players on the defensive line has been massive. And I know he's not technically a defensive lineman anymore. He's defensive end slash outside linebacker for the Jaguars in this base 3-4. But um, you, you catch what I'm saying. For that defensive front, I think Josh Allen has been a great leader over the last couple of years, and he's just grown every single year. It's been really, really a sight to see. Um, and when I say grown, I mean grown as a, as a, as a worker, as a leader, as someone who can, you can rely on as one of your best players. I think he will prove to be a Pro Bowl level player this year. That doesn't mean he'll make the Pro Bowl. Don't get me wrong, but I think he'll be playing at a Pro Bowl level in 2022 for the Jaguars. And then looking at Foye Aluakun, who is the second defensive captain for the Jaguars, he comes over from Atlanta, led the NFL in tackles last year, and it's no surprise to me that he's voted a captain by his peers because he is the player with the green dot on his head. He is the player getting everyone aligned properly, communicating the calls, just making sure everybody is in the right position, and I think it's a small sample size so far, and it's only been preseason and training camp. But when he's been on the field, the Jaguars defense has been far more organized than with anyone else out there. And I, I don't think that's a coincidence. Uh, I also think when you just look at his play on the field, he can do so much for you as a former safety, as a really athletic linebacker who can also uh, you know, thump around the line of scrimmage, roam sideline to sideline, drop in coverage and make some plays occasionally as well. Uh, I think Alua can... From where he was entering the league out of Yale a couple, uh, four years ago to where he's at now, his growth has been unbelievable as a football player and as a leader and as a, as a worker, as a student of the game. He's grown so much, and uh, I'm not surprised at all, despite this being his first year with the team and first year as a captain in the NFL, I'm not surprised he earned that based on what he has meant to this team this offseason and what he will mean to this team throughout the 2022 season. You look at special teams, Logan Cook, this was the obvious choice, right? You do have Ross Matisic, who I think is a great long snapper, and I think he, his his hustle on – um, on punt team and, and trying to make sure that he can make an impact as a as a punt cover guy and also you know being a consistent snapper not allowing pressure up the middle 
uh, on those punts. I think Ross Matisic is a very good long snapper. The Jaguars think so too. They gave him a big, uh, relatively speaking, a big contract recently. Um, big contract for for long snappers, if there is such a thing. Um, but you don't have a kicker who's been around for a long time, right? You've been shuffling kickers in and out, so you don't have an option there. Uh, Logan Cook, though, is the clear option. It's his first year as a, as a captain for the Jaguars, but um, his his ability on the field, his work ethic, his desire to go out and be a weapon for the Jaguars who can flip the field and his consistency and his ability to do that um, – unparalleled you've also got his ability to be a weapon on on fakes and I think you'll see that again this year he's got a huge arm um he he's really he's a football player despite being a punter he is a football player and I think he's going to do some great things for the Jaguars in 2022 he was the clear choice for your special teams captain I think when you look around the team some other players that Our leaders, uh, we talked about some of the offensive players, but on defense, I think you're going to end up seeing Devin Lloyd being a captain sooner than later. Uh, I think Foley Fatu Kasi was a guy that if you had more captain spots, maybe he could have been one. Um, He was a captain for the Jets in the past, and I think he's a, a leader on that defensive line as well. You look at Tyson Campbell and Andre Sisco. I both, I think both of those players could end up being captains down the road. But overall, I really like the group of captains they have. Again, it's five, uh, five permanent captains for the 2022 season. Trevor Lawrence, Brandon Sheriff, Josh Allen, Foye Lewican, and Logan Cook. And then you'll have a sixth one that will change on a week-to-week basis at Doug Peterson's discretion. Good group. I like the talent on this roster. It is a young team. Uh, as we all know, again, you've got Trevor Lawrence, who's only in his second year in the league, uh, already his second year as a team captain. Josh Allen's only in his fourth year in the league. Foya Lewican's still a young player. Uh, Brandon Sheriff is the elder statesman among the captains for the Jaguars. But that will do it. Let me know what you guys think about the Jaguars captain in the comments below. If you're interested, you can check out our channel membership, help support what we're doing here and continuing to grow this channel. There's some really fun perks on there too you can check out. There's a link in the description below. Of course, hit me up on Twitter at Jordan DeLugo. Follow Generation Jaguar at Generation Jag. Make sure to hit the like and subscribe button on YouTube. And if you want to support the channel further, you can go pick up a new hat, shirt, whatever you want over at genjag.com shop. Another link to that in the description below. Thank you so much for tuning in, Duval. Have a great rest of your Tuesday.